All right, guys. So uh, here we are, part two. Uh, talked a little bit about your basic IL2 1946 package, how to patch it up to the latest 4.11.1 build. Uh, that's another thing. So Ultra Pack is not compatible with the latest 4.11.1 build. It can run, but it's not recommended. Uh, the official uh, patch that they support is 4.10.1. So with the 4.11.1, uh, Team Dal Dalidos did improve the AI as well. So n not only is HSFX improving the AI, mo AI model, the uh, official patch is also improving the AI model. You also have cool things like track IR head tracking, where the pilot's head will move around, like in DCS, for instance. Um, and it, the the changes are, are just too much to mention. So once you get the uh, game patched up, you want to install your your HSFX mod version 6.0 and patch it, patch it up to 6.0.1 with this patch. Um, once you're done with that, you are not done. You, <laughs> I was gonna say you're done, but actually you're not. Uh, you patch up the game, install the 6.0 patches or the entire HSFX package. The last thing you need to do is go into this uh, JS. GME, okay? It's a generic mod enabler. And this is the part that a lot of people miss. It's very important. You want to open this up. And from left to right, you're activating the mods. These are mods that come with uh, HSFX. And these are some SAS. Don't worry about these. The ones that you can use without using the SAS stuff are these down here. And I, I've added some mods already here. But for instance, the uh, these are the basic pack right here. So obviously you want to enable the HSFX history mod. That's the general mod that's going to run the mod pack. Okay. Um, the rest of this stuff shouldn't cause issues in multiplayer, but we probably should run the same thing. So I'll just go through what I'm running. Uh, I am going to run expert mode, which is the AI enhancement, among other things. Um, we are going to run this carrier takeoff probably because we're going we're to do carrier operations at some point. Um, we're going to run the perfect map textures, no reason not to. And I want to run Tiger's flybys, but you don't have to. Okay. Uh, some people don't like the uh, Tiger's uh, sound modification. I think it's pretty good. Uh, the, the cannon and gun sounds are pretty low. Which, which is not a bad thing because if you're trying to communicate over the noise. The engine sounds are great. I, I actually use a different uh, sound mod package, which uh, I can give to you if you guys want. And it's the one that I'll be using in, in my future videos and, and I've used in past videos. It's actually, I think it's done by Nick and RP. Uh, they did a sound mod and it's really good. So you can use that. Now, we're also going to be using this, um, probably the Smoke Trails 1.3 or this HD smokes and flashes. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll make it known on the forums exactly which package we're going to be using. Probably this one. This just eliminates all of the uh, the tracers completely. Okay. If you guys remember IL2 default, they would use this these crazy uh, uh, tracers. If I could find the uh, let's see if I could find the mod package pal tracer mod il2 okay all right so yeah what this guy did is uh shorten the tracer length and then look at this this was the original il2 look at all the smoke it would kill people's frame rates it still does i think um and it's completely unrealistic every single round has a smoke trail and every single round is a tracer is that realistic no he says <laughs> he says the answer is no uh problem is they cause fps counter when you are in a high flag environment very intense area dog fights basically unbearable does this look logical no i absolutely agree uh it doesn't look logical to me so thanks a lot uh, so here's what the mod looks like and actually i think it's even more dumbed down than this the smoke trails appear every once in a while, and you do see tracers, but they're sporadic. Uh, the one that I have, or the one that I'm running, you actually don't really see any tracers at all. Historically, uh, in in the early war, 
I think they would use tracers, and they had very little access. I'm not a historian, but from what I understand, they had very little access to tracers. It was something that was special, uh, not something that was e readily available. So number one, m most guys didn't have tracers to begin with. And if they did have tracers, they used them sporadically. What they found was when they removed tracers in an air-to-air -air dogfight environment, their kills doubled. And the reason for that is, you know, tracers help in knowing where you're rounds are hitting but it also notifies the enemy so if the enemy can see tracers whizzing by his cockpit he knows that you're attacking him he knows exactly where they're coming from when they remove the use of tracers now it's completely invisible it's it's kind of a silent killer and uh, you just use your round your rounds impacting to judge your trajectory and actually was a much more effective way of fighting so the the mod pack that we use uh, with the pal tracer thing actually removes uh, tracers for the most part you might see a, a whiz of smoke every once in a while which which is realistic but uh, it just removes them so once you're done enabling these you, uh, you go over here to your you run your il2selector.exe and if I just created a shortcut for that, you can find it in your main directory. Once you do that, you go to change settings. And what we want to run is a class, classic mod game. Okay. Um, don't run any of these. I say it's mod act, ultra pack, none of these. Just the classic mod game. I'll show you where the mod folder is because this is not something that's well known. And when you add stuff from... From that came stock, it'll add it into this files folder. Okay, that's all this HFX history mod, expert mode, carry takeoffs, perfect map textures, tiger fly, tigers flyby. This one I've modified it so that it goes into the mod folder for IL2 1946. Okay, and that folder is called mods, and then within that there's files, and that's where this gun smoke stuff goes in. So if you want to add anything, it goes in here. Uh, the last thing, I'm sorry, I forgot one more download, is the um, it's the North Korea map, okay? We won't need this right away, but we'll need it for the jet air stuff eventually. And here's here's what it looks like, okay? You can download it here at Mediafire. What you want to do in order to make it run this is extremely tricky and that's why I want to go over this um, you go over here let's see you go to the here's what it looks like when you download it um, CY North Korea okay this is what it looks like it comes in this map mods folder that's an uh, some versions use that or in the past they've used that you don't want to use the map mods folder. What you want to do is go into your if, if there is uh, when, when you uh, install all the packs there won't be this mods folder. I'm sorry I forgot to mention that. So you do have to um, sorry about that. You do have to install or create this mods folder okay, and create the files folder. Open up this map mods and it used to go in here. Doesn't doesn't go in there anymore. It will not work if you put it anywhere else other than the place that I'm going to tell you. Open up Map Mods here, and you want to drag and drop this stuff into here. Okay, you could do that first. You can also I would suggest you can extract it. So uh, copy this and extract extract it into there. Okay. Um, once you do that. You go into this maps folder here. I'm sorry. You go back out to your main directory, go into files, go into maps, all I and I, and in the README it's gonna tell you to paste all of this into there. So you can see the map on the full mission editor and it and the game recognizes it. Okay. So again that's in, in this directory, files maps all dot I and I. That's all the time that I have guys. Hope that helps and if you have any questions post them on the forums or in the comments. Thanks. DCF, DCSWolfpack.org signing out.